What's up you guys? We are currently in the island of Holbox in Mexico near Cancun. It's about two and a half hours from Cancun plus a ferry. Unlike Tulum, unlike Cancun, unlike Isla Mujeres, not a lot of people come here. So you're gonna get paradise. And you're gonna get a true authentic Mexican beach lifestyle. Let us show you around. Once we got off the ferry from the town of Chiquila, golf cart taxis were waiting to bring us to our accommodations. Isla Hobosh is located off the northern coast of the Yucatan Peninsula. Unlike other popular spots in Mexico, such as Tulum and Cancun, Isla Hobosh remains untouched by major tourism. We enjoyed fresh coconuts on our first day and had the beach all to ourselves. In Hobos, there are dozens upon dozens of hotels that are right on the beach here. So when you come, definitely pick a place right on the beach. We are off to the center of Hobos. We're going to try to get this guy right here a haircut. We're going to see if the <laughs> barbershop that I went to three and a half years ago is still open. I'm excited to go to the center of Hobos again because I love to see how much new development there's been and new restaurants and shops and stuff because I think a lot has changed in the past three years since we've been here. We are now entering the center of town where pretty much all the restaurants are located, the cafes, anything that you need, you come here to the center. Um, and I have to say, obviously I've never been to Bali, but I've seen videos of it and it kind of reminds me a little bit of it. We found it, the Holbosch Barber Shop. A quick shout out to the guys at the Holbosch Barber Shop. They did an awesome job and had a really cool vibe. Damn, wait, look at you. Look at this stunner. Now we are heading off to dinner to one of our favorite places. It's called Luma. We loved it last time. Oh my gosh, so, so we're good. definitely do it right this time. Yeah. One of the most popular restaurants on the island is Luma. We definitely had an awesome meal and highly recommend it. So tonight we're at La Casa de las Tortugas, which is a hotel here in Holbox. It's actually one of the most trendiest and most popular hotels on the island. Uh, they have the most amazing spot to sit at at nighttime and just relax. As you can see, there's a little fireplace here. Um, we just had dinner at Luma and I think we're just going to enjoy the night here tonight. This basically concludes a great first day here in Holbox. We're in Casa las Tortugas great spot just chill especially outside you can see the sky cheers cheers the next morning we were off on a new adventure good morning uh, we're heading to punta mosquito right now it's like a mile or two from our hotel it's very yeah. easily accessible they told us that this is a must it's supposed to be paradise it's untouched lands one of the locals actually told us that we need to look for a pink seashell they're yes, they're very like very unique to Holbosch and he says they're very rare and if we get lucky enough to find one to definitely keep it as a memoir we just walked all the way down to the end part of the street here in Holbosch and then you get to this entrance which should lead us to Punta Mosquito so stay tuned we just got to Punta Mosquito and we were right over there on shore. Walked up all the way through. I think the water got up to here for me for a little bit. Um, but we are now here and you can see pretty much knee length. And Daniel's right over there. How awesome. So we just got to um, the sandbar here in Punta Mosquito um, and we met a woman here that's walking along with us. And she showed us that there's actually small little stingrays um, in the ocean, so you got to be careful when you're walking so you don't accidentally step on them. Um, but this is the first time I've actually seen one in the wild, so let's see if I can show you here. There he is. Hello, friend. <laughs> the water is right up to my ankles, and look how far out we are. This place is magical. So Daniel's happier now that the bugs aren't attacking us. Punta Mosquito, it makes sense why they call it that because it's... No joke. They <laughs> swarm you. Get a good bug spray, man, because I was, I was getting really annoyed. Quick tip, we recommend going at low tide. 
which is something that we didn't do. We have returned from the long journey to Punta Mosquito and back. Now it's around 10 a.m. or so. We're gonna head to get some traditional Mexican breakfast at a local restaurant around here. And check back with you guys soon. We, we made it to the town here in Cold Ocean. We're gonna grab some breakfast, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, we're pretty starving. We pretty much walked the whole beach this morning. Um, so let's get some food. Here at Rosa Mexicana, it is a uh, restaurant here in Cold Wash in the main town. Um, we're having our first breakfast here in the morning. Pretty excited. We ordered a traditional Mexican breakfast, so let's eat. Daniel's Mexican, so he's used to really spicy food. He just ordered this sauce right here. It doesn't look like much, but it's fire. I'm learning. After breakfast, we walked around the center of town and its neighboring streets. When you come here, you'll see some amazing street art and colorful murals, all unique to the Mexican culture. It's done, and now we're headed to a new hotel. This one's actually pretty special because we went here three years ago. It was our first trip together. Um, so it's gonna be fun to go back to the same spot because we fell in love with this We absolutely hotel. love this hotel. If you come here, you have to check it out. I'm so excited. Yeah, I'm this so is gonna be excited. great. Our taxi's here, we're off to the next a uh, hotel, this one's pretty special. Stay tuned for our next vlog, where we'll show you the best place to stay in Holbosch. Thank you for watching everyone. We'll see you in the next one.